hello friends so now today we going to see the next concept called matrix okay now what do you mean by matrix it is a collection of what rows and columns so here we going to represent your data in a form of matrix to create a matrix in r we have a function called matrix okay in that function you have some parameter list or the argument list the arguments uh, or the parameters are like first we need to enter a data after that how many rows you want in your matrix okay so to denote that rows you have a n row um, n row parameter okay you can mention the number of columns that you want to create in your matrix that is what your n col c o l okay now if how you want to arrange your data whether you want to arrange your data by row or by column okay so the by row is the parameter here you can enter the boolean values okay so by row is equals to true means what you are going to arrange the data in a row wise okay and by row is equals to false means what the data will be arranged by column okay here do, we don't have by call uh, parameter okay so first we going to generate one matrix okay so you going to need a variable to store that matrix that is what m right then you going to write your assignment symbol that whatever the next uh, row uh, line is there store that all the values into what m okay then you going to mention your function name that is what matrix okay so the first parameter is what data okay now we want to enter a multiple data so we going to write what a c function to your enter your data for example c open a round bracket 3 colon 40 now uh, this uh, code is going to um consider the values from what 3 till 14 so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 okay will be the values in your matrix after that n row so you want suppose four rows in your matrix okay so by default uh, with that values how many columns are going to generate three columns are going to be generated okay so we, uh, there is no need to mention how many columns you want okay your r will arrange the data likewise after that by rows by rows means what how mean uh, whether you want to arrange the data row wise or a column wise here we are arranging the data row wise so i'm going to execute this code so after execution if you don't have an error it will show you the nx empty error so now if i want to print the matrix i will i'm going to print what print m okay now you'll be able to see the matrix with uh, starting with the 3 till what 14 and your data is arranged row wise so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so it uh, your r has created four rows and three columns okay now uh, suppose you want to arrange the data column wise so you going to change the parameter over here as what false so the same matrix is there right it just that we converted that by row uh, from true to what false okay so again i'm going to execute this line okay then print now you'll be able to see that our data is arranged by column so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 now there is another parameter called dim names suppose if you want to provide a uh, your uh, matrix uh, if you want to provide name for your rows and columns of the matrix you can do that using your dim names okay so here first thing uh, i need to mention that uh, your matrix has a index number okay so this is what your first row okay your index number is always uh, shown in what your square bracket so in square bracket you going to mention what uh, suppose you want to generate a 3 by 3 matrix so you going to write 3 into 3 right so the first three is going to represent what the row num uh, number of rows and next three is going to uh, denote what the number of columns for example 2 by 3 means what the matrix with the two rows and the three columns suppose so 4 by 2 uh, so the matrix with the four four rows and two columns okay here so the first value represent what the row number okay so here all the elements are in a first row okay 
in your horizontal line you are able to see that this is what your column names comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 here we are able to see that it is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma for example what will be the index number of 3 it is in a first row and first column so 1 comma 1 what will be the index number of 9 3 right it is in a third row so 3 comma 2 it is in a second column okay likewise suppose the, what will be the index value of 5 it will be 3 comma 1 because it is in a third row and first column okay i hope you understood the concept called index number okay but because we need uh, we are going to use the those index number for the data extraction okay. so the fine uh, we're going to provide the names for your rows and columns so first we're going to generate two vectors okay so how many rows we have we have four rows and three columns that's why i'm going to give the name like a uh, row one row two row three row four and for the columns row one row two sorry call one call two call three okay and i'm going to store this vector in a row names and call names variable okay so i'm going to execute these two lines okay then I want to provide the uh, name to your matrix. So, how are you going to give the name? Using what? Your dim names parameter. So, these three parameters you know, right? C in bracket, 3 colon 14, n row is equals to 4, by row is equals to true. Then you're going to write dim names is equals to list, or row names and call names. So, I am going to execute this line and the next that is print. Now, you will be able to see that we have given the names to your rows and columns. That is what row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and call 1, call 2, call 3. Okay. Then, we can generate a matrix. Now, here we use the values are like what? 3 colon 14 means what? Continuous values. Suppose you have a number of different different values over here for example we want to generate a matrix of 3 by 3 using this value. So uh, you are going to give the values in using in uh, using C function. Okay, So the values are like 1, 5, 9, 2, 5, 7, 4, 2, 6. So it will generate a matrix for these values. Okay, The values are arranged by what? row if you want to arrange it by column you can give by row as equals to follow uh, sorry false you can generate a matrix for text also so it's just that you going to give provide the text in a double code okay so this is a code output for your text matrix so here we created a matrix for your row for flowers name so rose daisy lily and lavender these are the data items in your matrix. Okay. Now, how are you going to access the element of matrix? To access the element of matrix, we are going to use those index numbers. Right. So, first we are going to create a matrix called P. Okay. So, you have values like 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Now, if I want to access the element of third column and first row okay so on the third column and first row you have value as what five so how are you going to give print what is your matrix name p right your matrix name is what p so p in square bracket what is your row number one comma what is your column number three so you're going to execute this line so as we know that five value is there in the first row and third column so it is going to print you what five okay same way for the second column fourth row it will return you what 13 okay suppose if you want only second row you're going to provide the index number second comma okay so it is going to return you the whole second row that is six seven eight if you want to access only the column you're going to write p square bracket comma three okay it will return you the values of your column okay now math matrix computation okay and matrix computation means what it is going you are able to perform matrix operation also that is addition subtraction multiplication division okay so for the addition and subtraction it is going uh, it is going to perform the element to element operation okay so 
we need to create a two matrix again so for example matrix 1 and matrix 2 and some values are there for example in for example in matrix number 1 the values are like 3 minus 1 2 9 4 6 in matrix 2 you have values like 5 0 3 2 9 4 okay now we're going to perform addition and subtraction of the matrix okay as i said it is going to add element to element for example 3 plus 5 8 minus 1 plus 0 1 minus 1 2 plus uh, 3 5 so it is going to give you result likewise so uh, result assignment symbol matrix 1 plus matrix 2 okay so this is the output right so 3 plus 5 8 so the see the first element as what 8 minus 1 plus 0 minus 1 then 2 plus 3 5 likewise you will have a, a output for what addition same way it is going to perform the uh, subtraction element to element okay this is the output for your subtraction thank you